Hey guys, it's Rody T back with another Binding of Isaac video, and today I'm going to be doing something a little different than the other runs, because I'm going to be trying to get through some of my challenges here, which I've got to start with the first challenge, of course, even though there are some good unlocks in the other challenges. So, this run, Pitch Black, I basically just have Curse of the Darkness and the Unknown the whole run, which isn't that bad, it's just a little annoying. Um, I only have to go to mom, which means this will be a pretty quick run overall. Hopefully I can get some good items overall from the item rooms. Robo baby is not really one of those good items I was looking for, but it's fine. That was good timing to get a bomb so I can get this tinted rock and I'll wait to pick up those so hard. So after I beat the boss for maximum chance to hopefully get a deal with the devil on the next floor. Although I shouldn't probably be getting hit anyway. It's better to play on the side of safety here. Just cause. Alright, fight the boss. It's Duke of Flies. Duke of Flies with Robo Baby is actually pretty nice. Cause I can pierce through all his, his flies just fine. And Duke of Flies is already pretty close to dead. And I guess Robo Baby was pretty nice to have there. And Growth Hormones is an amazing pickup for me right now. That's basically all the damage I need to beat Mom. Because 5 damage is just pretty solid all around. Alright. So now... Uh, I could go into that treasure room over there, however, my, uh, I don't really have enough keys to make that work. Here I'm gonna be a little careful. I'm gonna let Robo Baby do some of the work here. I won't go into the curse room because I don't want to lose my soul hearts. Here's the item room. I guess I'll let Robo Baby take care of this room. Just so I can play a little safe here. I may as well use my items to my advantage here. Alright, and I get Epic Hack here, which is... I think that means I've won the run at this point. Because now my damage is insane. I just need some sort of form of survivability. Right, the boss should go down extremely quickly now. There's a tinted rock there, which is very nice. And there's basically nothing else I need on this run, except for maybe explosion immunity. And I should be able to take out gurglings extremely easily here. Just need to hit one more epic hack shot. And that's fine, let's see what we get in here. Uh, I'll definitely take the mark, but I really don't want the conjoined transformation because it could very well just screw this run completely. I get a library here, which is telepathy for dummies, which is a just an okay item, I guess. It makes it a little easier to hit my epic hack shots sometimes, so I can't really complain. Here's the item room. I need a key to get into it though. With Ipecac, I can get this chest open and get these bombs here. And it looks like this is going to be a fairly simple and clean run. I don't think there's any secret rooms on this, uh, this challenge. Uh, Bookworm is something I could get, but it kind of scares me. Oh, I guess there are secret rooms here. Alright, I'll blow up both of these guys here. And I think I'll just take Telepathy for Dummies, even though Book of Secrets may be better. Uh, telepathy for Dummy gives me more range, which gives me 
a lower chance to get hit. Death card is fine here. I'll just use it to move on. All right, so we have the boss here, Mega Fatty. Should be very easy. It'll just take a little bit. Okay, I really need to not get hit like that. But he's been dealt with now. Placenta is good. I just need more HP, honestly. I, honest, I honestly don't even need deals with the devil at this point. I can't get anything over there, unfortunately. I think this is the first Ipic hack run I've had, which is pretty cool. Because this item is very good in the right circumstances. So there's a pill back there. I don't really know what I would want from it other than maybe a balls of steel or help up. I don't need damage. I don't need tier speed. Well, that's kind of the opposite of what I wanted there. So there's an arcade here, but I don't really know why I would play it because there's no shops. So I don't really need money other than to maybe play some beggars. Okay, another item room. Adrenaline is fine. It probably won't change too much on this run. Because I am pretty unlikely to get this spun transformation or make use of adrenaline because I don't want to be low in HP ever. Although I could go to the arcade to get a damage upgrade. I feel like it'd be pretty minor, so I'm not going to worry about it. All I need is bomb immunity and everything should be fine. Little Gertie here does not stand a chance, honestly. Unless he gets me to blow myself up. Alright, let's see what we get in here. Uh, missing page 2 is not really needed. Same as Ocular Rift. So, I'm just going to move on here. And right now, I'm six minutes into this run, which is a fairly quick run here, I guess. That's mainly due to how much damage I have, and I can just kind of clear through rooms very quickly. So it looks like I'll be able to get the Bookworm transformation, which can be good, but it's also a little scary. There's no reason for me to take damage there. And Book of Shadows is nice, and I'll just take the Bible, because why not? I think you can unlock something by using the Bible on Mom. I'm not certain about that, but it is something I need to do. Although, I'm just now remembering you can't unlock anything besides the challenge um, item you unlock at the end when you're doing challenges because achievements are disabled. So that's fine. It's not really the end of the world. I don't really feel like going back for the item room. If it shows up, I'll go to it, but this run is already a little too strong. Alright. So we have Loki here. Loki does not stand a chance. Um, Alright. That was a very quick boss fight and now we got one more floor i know i could have picked up the faded polaroid there but i think it's highly irrelevant i could get a planetarium on this floor which i wouldn't be opposed to but again i don't really need anything to make this run be a win So if I find a planetarium, I'll go to it. And if not, it's not the end of the world. I will blow up that stone chest over there. Just because I could give an item. And I could open it for free, basically. Matchbook is actually pretty nice to have. Alright. Move on here. I thought I could get away without getting hit there. Okay, I need to be a little careful about my HP.
All I need to do is make it to mom. I'll take the sun card just because I can clear this room. And it looks like the boss is coming up here. All right, we get an ace of clubs, which I can use on, I don't know when, but we have mom who has been defeated with the Bible. So I get the victory here, but you know, I might as well take brimstone. Let's see what it does. It gives me an exploding beam, which actually is a little scary, but you know, so I could do boss rush, but there's no point. So I'm just going to take the dub here and that's going to be the end of the challenge. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next run.